Hi, welcome to section 12.2, Exponential Functions. Hopefully by the end of this, you all will be able to graph exponential functions and solve exponential equations. So I think the best way to do graphs is by graphing them. So to graph one of these, what we're going to do is we're going to make a table of values and then we're going to graph based on that table of values. Okay, so the first one I have for us is f of x equals 3 to the x. So we're going to have, you know, quite a few values. We can have negative exponents, positive exponents, and zero. So uh, we're trying to get a nice variety here. So I'm going to start with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Kind of keeping them small because I know exponents can get big in a hurry. Okay? So if my x value is negative 2, that means that I would have 3 to the negative second power. Reminding you guys, a negative exponent does not mean that we have a negative value. It means that it's, it's kind of in the wrong place. It wants to be in the denominator. This is the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so this is the same thing as 1 ninth. If x is negative 1, we would have 3 to the negative first power, so that would be 1 over 3 to the first power, which would be 1 third. If x is 0, we would have 3 to the 0 power. Well, anything to the 0 power is 1. Uh, if we have x is 1, that would be 3 to the first, which would be 3. And if I have x is 2, that would be 3 to the second power, which would be 9. Okay, so now that we have our table of values all ready to go, let's go ahead and graph it. Okay, so let's see here. The first one I have is the point uh, negative 2, 1 ninth. So at negative 2, we're at 1 ninth, which is really close to 0, but not quite at 0. Um, at negative 1, I have got a y value of 1 third, which is a little bit closer to half, right? A little under. At 0, my y value is 1. At 1, my y value is 3. And at 2, my y value is 9. So what you can see is that on the right side, it's just increasing and increasing and increasing faster and faster and faster. On the left side, it's getting closer and closer to zero. It never will touch zero, but it's going to get awfully close. Okay? So that's what that graph looks like for f of x equals 3 to the x. Okay? Uh, the next one I have for us is h of x equals 1 half to the x. So h of x equals 1 half to the x. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a nice little table of values. So let's see what happens when x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay. So when x is negative 2, we would really have 1 half raised to the negative second power. So that's 1 to the negative second over 2 to the negative second. And if you don't like negative exponents like I don't, uh, there. They're not happy where they are. We just need to switch places, okay? So we can change uh, the 1 to the negative second. We can put it in the denominator. And when you move it, the exponent's sign changes. So then that neg 2 to the ne negative second, it really wants to be in the numerator, okay? 2 squared is 4. 1 squared is 1. And 4 divided by 1 is 4, Okay? Uh, if x is negative 1, we'd have 1 half raised to the negative first power. So again, that would be 1 to the negative first and 2 to the negative first, and neither of them are, oh, first, not second, neither of them are happy where they are. So really we have a 2 to the first in the numerator, 1 to the first in the denominator, so that's really 2 divided by 1, which is 2. If my x value is 0, we'd have 1 half to the 0 power, Anything to the zero power is one. So that one's nice and easy to do. Uh, if my exponent is one, if my x value is one, we'd have one half to the first power, which is just one half. 
And if my x value is 2, we'd have 1 half squared. 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. So 1 half squared would be 1 fourth. Okay, now that we have our table of values all filled out, let's go ahead and graph it. Okay, so the points that I have for us, you can actually see them this time. It's very exciting. I've got the points negative 2, 4. Negative 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 1 half, and 2, 1, 4. Okay? So in this case, on the left side, we're increasing and increasing and increasing faster and faster and faster, right? Okay? Not the prettiest curve I've ever made, but it'll work. On the right side, we're getting closer and closer to zero. We're never going to touch zero, but we're going to get very, very close to it. Okay? And that is what the graph of h of x equals 1 half raised to the x. That's what that exponential graph looks like. Okay. So in summary, those exponential functions... Uh, in general, they're in this format of f of x equals a to the x. So x is a variable that's in the exponent, okay? The a value is called the base. So the base for this h of x function is a half. The base for this 3 to the x function is 3. Uh, every single time, I don't know if you notice, it always contains the point 0, 1. Because anything to the 0 power is 1. When your a value is greater than 1, like when we had 3 to the x, it's going to increase from left to right. So if you're reading a book, you read left to right. When you're reading a graph, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, from left to right, our graph goes up. It increases. When that a value is between 0 and 1... No, go back. There we go. When a is between 0 and 1, so for example, our 1 half to the x that we had, the graph decreases when you're looking left to right, okay? You're not really going to get negative bases because those are kind of wonky because negatives to uh, even exponents are positive and negatives raised to an odd exponent are negative, and so they kind of bounce around and do strange things. So that's why you don't really see uh, negative bases too much, okay? Uh, in general, your graph is going to approach the x-axis, whether that is on the right side or on the left side of your graph. It's going to approach that x-axis, but it will never actually touch it. It'll just get closer and closer and closer. So that is called an asymptote. So the x-axis is a horizontal, because it's a horizontal line, it's a horizontal asymptote. It's like a guiding line for the graph, that the graph it's like a magnet. It gets closer and closer and closer to, but it never quite touches it, okay? Uh, our domain is all real numbers. You can use any x value you want to as an exponent. So that's negative infinity to infinity in, x, in interval notation. And the range, if you notice, we have an asymptote at zero. You don't touch it. So that's why we don't include zero in the range. It gets awfully close to zero, but it never quite gets there. Uh, so you have a parenthesis at zero, because we're not going to include it, and it goes up to infinity. Now it's your all's turn. You get to try one and show me how much you've learned.